Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are going to look into a series of hate crimes committed by white supremacist Mark Anthony Stroman following the September 11 terrorist attacks. On September the 11th, 2001, four passenger aircraft were hijacked. Two were flown into the World Trade Center, which collapsed, one was flown into the Pentagon, and a fourth plane, United 93, which was intended to be flown into the Pentagon, crashed into Stony Creek Township after its passengers overcame the hijackers. An estimated 2,977 people were killed, with 19 terrorists killed, who were acting under Al-Qaeda, controlled by Osama bin Laden, which ruled Afghanistan at the time. A further 25,000 individuals were injured. Perhaps CBS News anchor Dan Raffer put it best in stating, you will remember this day as long as you live. In the days following the attack, America was a completely different country and entirely on edge. Born on the 13th of October 1969, Mark Anthony Stroman was abused by his stepfather as a child who he believed was his father. Stroman had a history of criminal misdemeanors from a young age, including committing armed robbery at 12. Stroman left school at 14 and became a baker and a laborer. At 15, he married and went on to have four children. A white supremacist, he joined the Aryan Brotherhood of Texas and had Nazi and KKK tattoos. He was sentenced to two years in jail for one count of burglary of a building and one count of theft of property before being released on parole in absentia. However, his criminal history followed him from prison. Stroman was sentenced to an eight-year sentence in November 1990 by the Dallas County for two counts of credit card abuse and one count of robbery having robbed a woman of her purse at an auto parts store. He was released on parole on the 26th of August 1991 due to prison population caps imposed in Texas. On the 14th of July 2001, Stroman was arrested for carrying a firearm in an establishment that sold alcohol. Indicted for unlawful possession of a firearm, he was put on bond and released from jail two days later. On the 15th of September 2001, four days after 9-11, Stroman walked into a Pleasant Grove convenience store in Dallas called Mum's Grocery. Stroman encountered 46-year-old Wakao Hassan, a Muslim Pakistani immigrant who owned the store and had moved into the area in 2001. As Hassan was grilling hamburgers, Stroman fatally shot Hassan in the head and fled the store. On the 21st of September, Stroman walked into a gas station in Dallas where he encountered 28-year-old Rias Buyan, a former Bangladeshi Air Force pilot who worked as a cashier at the petrol station which he co-owned with a friend. Stroman pointed a double-barreled shotgun at Buyan, who, believing it was an armed robbery, emptied the cash register with Stroman asking him where he was from. But before Buyan could respond, Stroman shot him in the head and Buyan fell to the floor and collapsed as Stroman left the store. Buyan was left partially blinded in his right eye but survived. Buyan ran into a barber shop next door who called 911. On the 4th of October 2001, Stroman entered a gas station in Mesquite, Texas, 13.9 miles from Dallas, and attempted armed robbery with a .44 caliber handgun and demanded money from the 49-year-old attendant, Vas Udev Patel, an Hindu Indian immigrant who, having migrated to Texas in 1983, was a naturalized American citizen. Patel tried to reach for a gun that he kept hidden under the counter, but Stroman shot Patel in the chest before he could grab it, with Patel falling to the floor having been fatally shot. Stroman attempted to empty the cash register, but was unable to, and he left empty-handed. One day later, on the 5th of October, Stroman was arrested for two murders and the attempted murder of Buyan. On the 15th of November 2001, Stroman was charged with capital murder and on the 5th of April 2002, a jury found him guilty and he was sentenced to death. Initially, Stroman expressed no remorse for his crimes and wrote on his blog that his killings were an act of passion and patriotism. He also called local TV stations from his jail cell, telling them that he was a patriot and in 2002 sent a letter to a friend stating that he was patriotic, a true American, 
a special breed, and he, that he should be made mayor of Dallas for his actions. He falsely claimed that he had a sister who had been killed in the North Tower of the World Trade Center when it collapsed, and that he was avenging the deaths of those who died in 9-11, telling police he'd done what every American wanted to, and that they were at war. However, he found an unlikely ally, Booyan, who forgave him for his attack, and even tried to sue the Texas state government to stop his execution as his Islamic beliefs told him to forgive Strowman and that killing was not the solution. This was denied by the court. Strowman expressed remorse in his later years on death row, even meeting with Bullyan, who he thanked for his compassion and described as an inspiring soul. With his execution scheduled for the 20th of July 2011, with all appeals having failed, on the 19th of July 2011, Strowman was escorted to Huntsville Unit in Huntsville, Texas, with his last meal a chicken fried steak with gravy, a ham and cheese omelette with onions and tomatoes, bacon, fried potatoes, fried squash, okra, pork chops with eggs, sunny side up, Dr Pepper and a pint of vanilla with blue bell ice cream. On the 21st of July 2011, Strowman was executed despite a last ditch appeal by Bullion to save the life of a man who had attempted to murder him. His last words were, The Lord Jesus Christ be with me. I am at peace. Hate is going on in this world. It has to stop. One second of hate will cause a lifetime of pain. Even though I lay on this gurney, seconds away from my death, I am at total peace. I'm still a proud American. Texas loud, Texas proud. God bless America, God bless everyone, let's do this damn thing. Strowman was cremated, and per his personal request, his ashes were spread over the Grand Canyon. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that like and subscribe button, and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know, and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet, and have an amazing day.